Hi, thank you so much for joining me today on my channel, Kitsi Shelf. My name is DM, and today I have some new products from the Becky store on AliExpress to share with you. All the dyes that you're going to see today were designed by Nicole Silhouette. And first we have this Shopping Basket Memory Dex card set. So in this set, this would be your base piece. There's also a piece for the basket that comes separately, and then this is a label for the basket, and these are handles for the basket. I decided to make a Christmas themed memory dex card because Christmas is right around the corner and a lot of shopping is done this time of year. So I thought it'd be really fun to fill the basket with things that you really love or things that your recipient would really love. So right now it's just holding a paper piecing that I put together and it is a paper piecing of a gingerbread man behind a cupcake. So this is a brand new die that I recently got in and I think it's adorable because the cupcake has a face as well. And I could put a link to it in the description box below. So I was able to make the basket interactive by just cutting two layers of the basket. Well, actually there is a layer of 110 pound cardstock in between just to make it really sturdy. And then I just glued it down on three sides so that you're able to tuck things into the basket. And then I used one of my stamps to stamp this sentiment on the label. I also embellished it with some greenery, which I cut out in a glitter cardstock and then added the bow. And then for the handles, I did make them so that you can move them around and change the look of the basket just by using my We Are Memory Keepers eyelet punch um, to punch the eyelets here. And you would just add the eyelets before gluing the back of the uh, basket on. So uh, that's how this was done. And then if you want to, you don't have to make a memory dex. You can just use the basket on its own as well. And then also you might recall that the Surprise Creation Store also has a basket and I turned that one into a 3D basket. I did the same thing with this basket. So I did turn it into a 3D shopping basket. And I was able to do that simply by adding a strip of paper in between two baskets. And this particular basket measures two inches wide. However, you could adjust the measurements to whatever size you wish. And I could put the measurements and uh, where to score the piece of paper in the description box below. And I already have a tutorial on how to turn your basket into a 3D shopping basket. Um, so I did that with the Surprise Creation Store basket and I could put a link to that video in the description box below. So it would be done in the same way. So this one is in a Christmas theme and for this basket, I just cut it out using some glitter cardstock for the sides of the basket. I stamped a sentiment onto the label here and then I embellished it with some greenery as well as this paper flower. And then for the handles, I gave it some peppermint handles um, just by using some peppermint paper that I have. And this is a really cute idea um, if you wanna gift goodies to someone. And then I did bring in the Surprise Creation Shopping Basket uh, just to give you a size reference here. So this basket um, measures four inches by two and one eighths of an inch. And then the Surprise Creation Basket measures five inches by two and a half inches. So um, that's just a side by side comparison of the two. Up next, we have this Rocket Ship Memory Dex card set. So this would be your base piece. You get an outline for the rocket, so you don't necessarily have to make a Memory Dex card if you don't want to. This is a layering piece for that body, another layering piece that would go on top here. And then these are two layering pieces for the top part, layering pieces for the side. You also get this window, which you can also turn into a shaker. And uh, for the Rocket Ship, I did turn it into a shaker embellishment. And uh, so this has a lot of layering pieces and I really like that because you could change up the look of your rocket ship. And for this, I just used some holographic paper on the sides here, as well as this uh, vinyl paper with the stars and moon, which I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I did turn this into a shaker window in the center here and I just added some stars as well as sequins. And this is um, really cute because it's also got uh, stars on the top here as well as along the bottom here. And of course you could just pop this onto the memory dex uh, card base here and then have a memory dex card as well. So the rocket ship measures four and five eighths by three and a half inches. 
Also new in their shop is this old fashioned coffee grinder bag topper set. So this would be your base piece. This is the coffee grinder. You get three coffee beans as well as this layering piece for the back here. And then with this piece, you're also able to turn this into a shaker if you wish. And this is how my bag topper turned out. So I cut it out using 110 pound cardstock. And then for this part here, I just cut that out using a gold foil paper. And then for the coffee beans, I cut that out using some glitter paper. And this would be really cute if you wanted to gift someone coffee. And uh, so this bag topper measures one and three quarter inches by two and a quarter inch. This next set is an Easter border set with carrots. So you get two different styles here. So you get this top one with the carrot tops popping out at the top here. It's got some stitching details. And then you also get this piece where you can cut a border here and then layer these carrots on. So you do get four carrots, so you can cut out many at once. And um, so I did cut out an example just to show you what it would look like. And for this one, I just used some Easter paper for the base piece there. And then I cut out the carrots using some glitter paper as well as some regular cardstock. And uh, this measures eight and a half inches wide by two and a quarter inches tall. This next set creates a theater memory dex card. So this would be your base piece for the memory dex card. This is a layering piece, which you could also use to turn this into a shaker. You get these pieces for the curtains, the theater mask, as well as layering pieces for the curtain ties. So for my next project, I also use this Peachy Keen Faceless Polar Bear stamp and die set, which is really cute. It comes with all these faces that you can put onto your polar bear. And it comes with all these cute little pieces, including the little gingerbread men and the polar bear itself here. So this is how my memory decks card turned out. So I did make it into a wintry theme. And then for the curtains, I really like the embossing details on them. And then for the curtains, I just used my Lawn Fawn Heart uh, background die to um, make this. And then for the top part here, I did pop that onto foam just to make it pop a little. And then I really like how it's got the ties for the curtains. It gives it that extra detail. And then here are the theater mask, which I also um, layered with foam just to make them pop a little. And then it features the polar bear holding a the little gingerbread man, which I think is so cute. And then I gave it a sentiment that says, you'll always be my shining star, which I just made with my silhouette machine. So there's many possibilities for this die set. And um, so the this measures four and one eighths of an inch by three and three eighths of an inch. This set creates a purse mini album. So in this set, this would be your base piece. This is your layering piece and it's got stitching details. And then if you use this piece with this piece, you could create this design onto your purse. This I believe is the closure of the purse. This creates the uh, spine, and then you also get a layering piece for the spine. And then this piece down here, this creates the hinges, and depending on how many pages you'd like for your book, you need to cut that out um, a couple of times. And then you also get the zipper and zipper pull. And then for my next project, I also use this Garden Charm paper pad from Michaels. And then I also use these uh, butterfly rosettes from the Becky store as well, and these were a from a purchase that I made back in the spring. So in the set, you do get the two different uh, size butterfly rosettes that you can create. And this is how my mini album turned out. So the paper pad has a lot of butterflies as well as florals. So I went with that theme. And um, for the base of the book, I cut it out using 110 pound cardstock. I also cut out the handles again using some black glossy papers. I added these decorative pieces, which actually comes from my Concord and Ninth Everyday Purse set. And then there's the butterfly rosette, which I think is so pretty. I cut that out using some crepe paper. I also glittered the edges. And then that gold butterfly in the center is a lawn fawn die. I also added this little paper flower that I glittered up. And then I added the sentiment, which I made using my silhouette machine. And I also added some jump rings so that I can hang some charms off the handle here. And then uh, just to show you, here's another example of one of the butterflies um, 
rosette butterflies that I cut out. And this one's in um, made using vellum paper and I also glittered the edges. So it's really pretty with all the details. And then for the spine of the book, I just added some decorative papers and then the back's just plain like this. And then it just opens up uh, like this. And on the inside, I didn't do much but just add uh, decorative papers. So you can definitely add as many pages as you'd like. You could also do creative things like add pockets and flaps here and there. And this is a really nice size. So this measures six inches by six inches. For this, I didn't use the closure. And um, originally I had cut out the pattern paper, which um, I wanna show you. So this is what I initially wanted my purse to look like. So I did cut out the pattern here and I think it's really beautiful with all the embossing details as well. It does cut out those holes here. And in the background, I layered it using a gold foil paper. And then for the base of this purse, I also cut it out using this um, vinyl paper that I found at the Dollar Tree. And it looks like leather, so I used this. And then also, the purse doesn't come with any hardware, so for these pieces over here, what I did is I just used a circle punch to punch that as well, add a bling in the middle here. And then I added this Prima flower and then this cutie sentiment uh, which I popped up onto foam, and that comes from the KS Craft Store. I also added some jump rings so that I can hang these charms off the side here. And then uh, this is what it looks like on the back here. I did add the zipper and uh, zipper pull. And then I also added this piece at the back here just to make it look a little more realistic. And I really like how this turned out. These side pieces were actually made from the closure piece, which I cut down a bit here at the bottom here so that I could create this box. And this box was actually created using the box making dies from the KS Craft Store, which looks like this. So you get all these pieces here. Um, and this was quite simple, actually. And um, it is quite sturdy. I It's been layered with 110 pound cardstock on the inside as well, just to give it a really clean look. And um, I think this would be really cute to gift goodies to your friends. So that's how that turned out. This next set is a massive set. It creates a 3D food blender and you get all these pieces. So there's many pieces in this die set. And then in their shop, they're also selling the layering pieces separately, which looks like this. I'm sorry, I didn't take it out, but it's there's a lot of pieces here. So let me show you how this turned out. My blender is in a doodle bug theme. I use the Made with Love collection and for the base of the blender, I used 110 pound cardstock. I used all the layering pieces. This front panel has been layered with foam just to get, make it pop a little. And then here's the dial. I added a ephemera piece that says, you're so sweet. And then at the back of the blender here, there's a door and on the door I added this knob so that I could open this easily and it's got a magnetic closure. And then on the inside you can put a lot of goodies inside as there's a lot of room. So I really like how the base of the blender is very useful. And then for the jug, I cut that out using acetate and here's the handle. It's been layered a couple times as well so it's very sturdy. And then there's the lid. It's got a really nice design. And then, and it's quite um, sturdy, the construction of this blender. And then on the inside, it's just holding some felt macarons that I made. And these are uh, charms. And I do have a tutorial on how to make these. So this was like the first uh, tutorial that I put onto YouTube. And then here's another one. And then it's also holding larger uh, macarons on the inside here. And then while making this, I thought it'd be fun if you were able to lift this jug off the base like this. And then on the bottom here, it reveals a message which uh, says, life is short, eat cake. And that's just an ephemera piece from the collection. And I was able to do this um, using magnets. So I thought it'd be really fun to, you know, be able to take the jug off and then take the goodies out um, easily like this, depending on what you're putting in. And then I just added some very thin magnets at the bottom here. 
and then it just goes on like this and even though there's a lot of pieces for this uh, blender there is a um it was quite easy to put together and there is a tutorial on how to put it together it was done by tracy farr and her youtube channel is called by far studio i'm gonna put a link to it in the description box below but you should really check it out because she did make a beautiful blender and then she also added a blade to her blender and um, she does show you you know how that was done so you should really check out her video but yeah this is the blender and i think it's really cute so here's a quick recap of some of the new dyes that are now available in the becky store we have the Easter border dies with the carrots, the rocket ship memory dex card, the old fashioned coffee grinder bag topper, the purse mini album, which you can also turn into a box if you wish, the shopping basket memory dex card, which you can also turn into a 3D shopping basket, the theater memory dex card, and the 3D food blender. I'm going to be putting a link to all the items in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!